Hey guys, um, here you go, third video of the Brazen Shadow Pro PC gaming chair today. It's put together now. Uh, it was really easy to put together, it took 10 15 minutes, very straightforward. Um, when you look from a distance, it looks uh, it looks good, uh, but and there is a big but, and it's an unfortunate but. A couple of issues with it, basically. I don't know whether you can see on the video. And as I bend down, I might get a better idea. Possibly not if that light isn't shining through between the back of the chair and the base of the chair. Is it doesn't sit straight. It's crooked. It's very obviously not straight you can see the gap on the left compared to no gap on the right where the back joins the base of the seat so when i'm standing back and looking at the seat right now it leans very clearly to the right to me by probably a good inch so it's not right unfortunately and uh, i don't quite know why it looks like the base is possibly twisted what I've also noticed before I've even put on the side caps is this section here, it's cracked. So um, it doesn't, I wouldn't say it's been out of the box and used before, but it doesn't look brand new. The seat back adjuster also is pushing hard against the seat there. I'd expect just a little bit of a gap. It's almost like the base is twisted where these hinges meet the back of the seat itself. So a little unfortunate really because there's no doubt about it, it doesn't look right. You can fit, actually feel it when you sit back in the chair. There's just a little bit of crookedness about it. So it's gonna have to um, go back to um, boysstuff.co.uk who I bought the chair from to be hopefully replaced with one that's straight and doesn't have an issue. I think just to show you, I've got the side caps uh, that would cover up the side hinges and again I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but to me when I'm looking at it there's a clear difference. The, the cap in my hand looks a, a really deep blackened new and the plastic that's cracked around the seat itself looks just looks old and it's it's uh it's got a lot of scuff marks on it as is the handle um, for the seat itself and the actual metal hinge itself so i mean other than that it <laughs> it would have been a nice chair it looks good when it's put together uh, the quality's there um, in the materials themselves it seems but just not in the way it's turned out as it's been put together and the other thing I noticed as well is again I'm not sure the camera will put it up uh, will pick it up but the seat itself is off center I think you can just see from the white there it helps it's about half to three quarters of an inch over to the left rather than sitting centrally and it's also twisted back if you take the lines and I've measured it from the front to the back it's about half an inch out the seat the back of the seat actually is twisted um, in in uh, in one direction more than the other and it's, it's not how it's put together um, out the box there's a little bit of leeway and adjustment on these hinges and I've played around with it but uh, I can assure you it's definitely not those uh, it uh, seems to be a manufacturing fault I would say and again from this side actually you can see those plastics really scuffed there that's fresh out of the box where all the rest of it is nice and shiny and new so never mind a little unfortunate take a little bit of time to get sorted but will certainly need to be sorted because it's it's not going to be good enough for me certainly not the money that you paid for it if it was a, a 50 pound chair you might expect some issues like that but um, it's not it was a 
quite a bit more than that. So hopefully, uh, boysstuff.co.uk will allow the RMA and uh, replace it and get me out one that is good and fresh out of the box with no issues. Because uh, certainly, uh, looking at the looking at the chair, I'd like one uh, for use. If it was all good. So anyway, thanks for watching. 